JJ Okocha, a Nigerian footballer and one of the most admired players in the world. Played as an attacking midfielder and had a lot of success in his playing career, winning trophies with clubs including Paris Saint-Germain and Bolton Wanderers. Who really is JJ Okocha and what is his story? In this video, we will discuss the 10 things you probably didn't know about JJ Okocha. Number 1, his real name. JJ Okocha was born Augustine Azuka Okocha. The name JJ was passed down to him from his elder brother James, who was the first to start playing football. His immediate elder brother, Emmanuel, was also named Emma JJ, but the name stuck with Augustine instead. Number 2, Place of Birth. Augustine Azuka JJ Okocha was born on August 14, 1973, in Enugu, Enugu State, in Nigeria's eastern region. His parents lived in Osun State, Nigeria, in the Iwo local government. Like many other football stars, he began playing football on the streets, usually with a makeshift ball. He would later advance in his career as an international footballer, playing for the Nigerian national team and European football clubs. Number 3, Turkish Citizenship I bet you didn't know this. While playing for the Turkish club Fernenbeek, JJ Okocha became a Turkish citizen. He is known as Mohamed Yavuz in Turkey, a name he adopted after obtaining Turkish citizenship. He only stayed for two years before relocating to France to play for Paris Saint-Germain. As a result, JJ Okocha is both a Nigerian and a Turk. Number 4, Club Career JJ Okocha began his career with Enugu Rangers in the Nigerian Professional Football League before moving to Borussia Nunkirchen in Germany's 3rd Division in July 1990. Before his final retirement in 2012, he had played in the Bundesliga, Turkish Super League, French League One, English Premier League, EFL Championship, Qatar Stars League and Indian Super League. He made 465 appearances for various clubs, scoring 95 club goals, including 30 goals at Fenerbahce. Number 5, International Career Okocha made his Nigerian debut in a 2-1 away loss to Ivory Coast in a 1994 FIFA World Cup qualifier in May 1993. In 1994, he was a member of both the African Cup of Nations winning team and the World Cup side that advanced to the second round before losing to eventual runners-up Italy in a dramatic encounter. In 1996, Okocha was a major component of a more successful Nigerian squad, the one that won Olympic gold in the Atlanta Games, and was afterwards nicknamed the Dream Team by the Nigerian press after the 1992 Olympic gold-winning basketball team from the United States. Number 6, Most Expensive African Player in 1998, he transferred from Fenerbahce to Paris Saint-Germain for almost 17 million euros, making him the most expensive African footballer at the time. Currently, Akraf Hakimi is the most expensive African footballer, having moved from Inter Milan to Paris Saint-Germain for about 60 million euros in the 2021 summer transfer window. Number 7, Style of Play. Okocha is a fast, talented, and skilled player who mainly played in the attacking midfield position. International football analysts consider him to be the best Nigerian footballer of all time, as well as one of the best African players of all time. He is remembered by the fans of Fenerbahce as one of the club's and country's legends. Okocha is known for his ball-handling confidence and deception, as well as his technique, creativity, flair, close control, and dribbling ability, as well as his turn of pace, particularly the step-over and signature turns. Number 8. Net Worth with an estimated net worth of about $15 million, Okocha is regarded as one of the wealthiest retired footballers. JJ Okocha remains rich after his retirement and enjoys a comfortable and an enviable life with his family. Although he, he keeps his personal life private, it is widely known that the ex international owns properties, including houses and cars. Number 9 Retirement in 2008 he retired from professional football at age 34 after a successful career spanning 18 years with over 400 appearances in all competitions and scoring over 100 goals. In 2007-2008 season, he helped Hull City in winning promotion to the Premier League for the first time in their 104-year history. However, at the end of the season, he was released by the club, which ultimately sent him into retirement. In 2017, Okocha was voted the best player to have ever played for Bolton Wanderers at the Reebok Stadium. Number 10, Post-Retirement. On February 21, 2015, 
Okocha was elected as the chair of the Delta State Football Association. On May 15, 2016, Okocha scored a hat-trick in his team's 6-2 triumph over Team Tony Kelly in a charity event at the Macron Stadium as member of Team John McGinley. In June 2019, it was reported that Okocha had been charged with alleged money laundering in Scotland. Since 2019, Okocha has worked as a football analyst for Supersports, an African sports broadcaster, providing insights for key tournaments such as the African Cup of Nations and European Championships. If you enjoyed this video please subscribe and turn on the notification bell.